Welcome to Soul Sundays. Uh, it's a three, quick three card spread, three cards for uh, your week ahead. Then I've got one card for love, one card for health, and one card for your career. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for Aries. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for the week ahead. Thank you, Spirit. Can I please have three cards? What are the most important messages for Aries? Week beginning the 16th of November. Thank you, Spirit. Two more. One more, please. Thank you so much. Aries, my love, how are you doing? It has been a long time. I have missed you. It's not been uh, for any reason other than I've just been busy with life. This is some beautiful energy, Aries. Let's pull you uh, romance angels, see what's coming up for you in love. We have a full moon in the sign of Scorpio coming in um, to give us all a little bit of a reprieve. We've just come out of Mercury retrograde. Not such great effort. Um, it's kind of been like a bit challenging because we've had Mars retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. When those two planets go retrograde, it kind of causes us to go back and look at X's, look at things, look at things that might not be working for us. But particularly for you, Aries, it was focused a lot around your career, what you're doing, what your purpose is in this world. You're going to have a little bit more direction. You're going to feel like you're going forward and moving forward from this point onwards. Um, you probably, it's not the best time to act. You need to wait at least another week. Mars is direct on the 20th. Also, don't buy any new technology. You'll have issues with technology. If you try and buy stuff now and go forward, you'll have problems. You'll have to return shit. It's just not worth it. All right. One card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Aries, my love, are you ready? Check this out. You start off the week with the star. The star is energy that's all about wish fulfillment, bringing something in you. As I said to you, it's like you've been hoping for this change or manifesting this change and wanting to bring in new energy for yourself. And I see that coming in Aries. For some of you, I also see potential of starting something new this week, like a new career, or a new job. The star coupled with the six of wands is like fantastic energy it speaks about rising up above challenges actually getting a wish come true i feel like for some of you it could be um like a business plan that you've had in the works for quite some time and now you're wanting to bring it to fruition it could be something that you're wanting to create or build and you've just been waiting for the money if that's the case and that's making sense to you it's coming for others of you i see this being in love um, as i mentioned to you before we've had mercury in retrograde whenever a planet retrogrades it doesn't actually go backwards in the sky it just stations direct so it looks like it's actually reversing but it's like an energy it's a push and pull and after all that's all all there is right it's energy but for you, Aries, I feel like you've gone back and had a look at your past. You've had a lot of exes come up. And I mean, why not? You're hot, you're passionate, you're sexy. Everyone wants an Aries. I am an Aries moon and an Aries rising for anyone that's interested. Even though I'm a Capricorn sun, which is my loyalty and being grounded, I am fire, passion. And with that, sometimes it means that we have... Um, this crazy ability to act before we think because we're just full of so many ideas. I urge you to have caution this week. You're wanting to just rush in and start something. You've got the Knight of, Knight of Cups here. Um, be cautious if you're wanting to give your cup of love to an ex or to go back to an ex. I just don't think it's the right energy, okay? You should never start a relationship or begin something new under Mars retrograde or a Venus retrograde for that matter, Partic particularly for a Mars retrograde because it's your ruling planet. So it'll actually pull you back rather than progress you forward. Your um, romantic energy card, which you're going to think this is a polarity, says make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to, to take. So absolutely, if there's someone that you're wanting to give your cup of love to or you're thinking, are they interested in me? Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have an Aquarius here. I have a fellow water sign, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But I feel like uh, very strong Aquarian energy. So some of you are dealing with an aqua. And this aqua is quite a peacock, actually. Um, I think they think they're better than what they are, which is quite funny. But look, um, if you are drawn to someone Aries and this is not career related to you, or if you're in a couple and this is career related, whichever way the penny falls for you, it's either of those two things. I just want you to know, yes, whilst great love is worth um, taking the actions that you need to take, just not to rush into it, okay? This is not the week where I recommend action. Next week, we'll talk about action. 
Okay, your health message for this week is organic foods. What have you been consuming, Aries? If you're anything like me, I was training so clean and was so healthy. And then for the last week leading up to this new moon, I've just smashed my diet. I've been eating off plan. I've been eating whatever I wanted to. Your message this week is about eating organic foods. Now, look, there's a lot of debate about whether organic foods are actually good for you or not. Um, you will notice the difference. You'll notice the difference in your energy levels. Even when I'm connecting to your energy now and when I was actually meditating and bringing it in, I could feel that you're feeling quite drained and lethargic. Like I get this heaviness in my body, particularly in my upper body, in my arms. So I don't know if you guys have been lifting heavy, if you've been doing something, if you've been doing a lot of physical work around the house. Um, but the message here this week is if you can, you can stretch the budget, get yourself some organic food. It'll last longer too. All right, and your career message for this week. Yeah, boom, I knew that card was gonna come up. I told you guys, right? It's uh, time to go. You are in a transition, a phase, Aries. I feel like you know this, but you're hanging on to a job that's no longer right for you. <laughs> it's so funny when I do these readings and I connect in and I feel like there's a hidden message for myself. I'm gonna read it to you from the book like I do, guys. You know what I do, but um, essential readings for this card. Uh, endings, completion, walking away from something because there's nothing more to learn. Um, and as I said before, it's either in a relationship, you're ending one cycle and finally letting go of that X and moving forward, or it's to do with career. And I'm going to read this to you. It says, um, this message is clear. The path you've been on with your work, creative projects and business alliances have come to an end. You will not find the success you desire by continuing with what is now in front of you. This is an auspicious sign because there is no choice that will benefit you other than risking stepping into the unknown. It is time to walk towards something new. This card also pertains to some more neutral concept of completion. You finish your task and can rest assured that this ending will open up a new powerful avenue of opportunity, even better than you can imagine. You have done all you can, now trust that spirit keeps the plan moving forward. Fortune requires you to conclude this chapter of your life and remember that when you close one door, another opens. Boom, Aries. I told you, right? It's like literally closing a cycle when it comes to work, when it comes to career. You're ending one period of cycle and moving towards another. I, I'll be honest, you've got two um, cards here that show success, right? The six of wands coupled with the knight of cups is success and moving on to something greater. And look at the energy. They're both moving in this pattern. They're both moving away. It's like you've had a dream come true. I feel like someone's made you a job offer and you're potentially thinking about it. Or for some of you, you're thinking about going out on your own. And if you needed that confirmation, this is it, baby. All right, my loves, that was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure you keep up organic foods, look after yourself, and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.